Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today. Back again, a little vlog entry. Uh, what's been going on lately? Oh, so much stuff, so much stuff. Getting ready for MX18 beta coming soon. Um, yeah, that's kind of a huge uh, up, up, update to the existing uh, MX17 base, so be on the lookout for announcements on that in the near future. That has taken up an inordinate amount of time getting ready for the uh, beta release and for the later uh, regular release. All sorts of new features coming in. Uh, some of them under the hood you won't notice too much. Some of them right on the surface with the installer. So, you know, pay attention to or be on the lookout for those changes. You may recall that uh, a month or so ago, uh, a uh, listener, a watcher, a viewer uh, of the channel uh, donated to me a one terabyte SSD M SATA card. This has been a huge boon for this guy right here. This is a IBM ThinkPad T420. I bought that laptop new many, many years ago, about 12 years ago maybe. I don't know if it's that quite that old, but uh, it's uh, bought it many years ago. It has been a very faithful companion through my business endeavors. Recently retired to home usage, but the up hard drive upgrade, we pulled the hard drive out, put the MSATA card in, that was quite the upgrade, and it makes a very fine addition to the Linux house suite of ThinkPads I got in the household right now. The MSATA, car, MSATA port on the uh, ThinkPad, I believe, was originally... Uh, uh, on the T420 was originally purposed for uh, I believe a cellular modem card if I remember correctly and there's a couple of antenna leads in there so I had to bend the antenna leads out of the way they're still there I didn't take them out but they're still there so I bent the antenna leads out of the way and then crammed this, the uh, the M, M SATA card in there for the drive it's only SATA 3 speeds yeah, you might think, well, set of six is a moment faster. Well, is it really? I mean, seriously, I pulled out the original drive that came in it. The original drive was a SATA 3 drive, um, uh, spinning drive. It, yeah, this blows away the old, SATA, old old spinning drive. So it was a very worthy upgrade to this machine. I'm very happy with it. Fast boot up. So I'm actually, uh, Mrs. Oracle uses this as a secondary um, research machine. We're going to be kind of talking about Zotero uh, on the channel here very soon, uh, which is an open source platform for synchronizing your, uh, if you're into serious research, into synchronizing your, your your notes, your articles you've read, your bibliographies. It's got Chrome integration. It's got Firefox integration. It's got LibreOffice integration. <sighs> she can't get along without it in her doctoral studies. So this has been a very fine addition to that fleet. And of course, I'm also running um, doing our MX stuff on there as well. It gives me another test platform. And to be honest, I just kind of like it because it's, it's kind of sexy and cool to have an MSATA card in there. So again, thank you to the lucky view, to the viewer who did that. It made me a lucky semi-aquatic uh, uh, semi mammal. Uh, actually, I'm a fully aquatic mammal. A dolphin, a dolphin semi-aquatic would be a platypus. Also on the donation front, uh, we uh, the channel was donated. This guy right here. This is a IBM... ThinkPad. Again, I love ThinkPads. T60, T60. This is an older machine. Uh, it came with 32-bit XP Professional on it, so an older machine. Uh, I think it does have a 64-bit capable processor in it, although I'm not 100% certain of that. I've only tried running 32-bit Antics on this. Uh, makes a great test platform, 32-bit Antics and 32-bit MX. Makes a great test platform and the charger port's the same as my uh, T530 and the T420, so I, can, I don't have to switch out the adapters all the time. So very thoughtful gift from a couple of listeners. Uh, we really appreciate it. I, I don't, you know, these guys, I, I'm not soliciting donations. I don't really need any more donations. These were very thoughtful donations from a couple of listeners out in the world, and I really appreciate it. Uh, primarily going, the computer primarily going towards antics and MX development. Uh, actually, both of them are. So it gives me a place to put uh, the T420 and the T60 in the, in the Linux fleet in the household here for testing. So thank you for that. Be on the lookout for the updated MX Linux. <sighs> it's coming soon. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. Stop and Oracle signing off. Have a great day.